Hey everyone, and in this video, we're going to be talking about polymers and polymerization, and it's basically how do we make polymers and stuff like that. So let's get started. Well, as an introduction, polymers exist in everyday life. Polymers are basically plastics, and they're found in your plastic sheets, bags, bottles, and so on and so forth. They're found in everyday life, and it's a very big branch in the industry. So let's get started with our topic. Now, what is polymerization? Well, polymerization, I know you're going to freak out from my diagram, but it's okay. But what is polymerization? Well, polymerization is basically making a polymer. Well, I think you didn't get it from what I said because I'm just repeating myself. So, basically, if you're trying to make a polymer, you're just making it out of small monomers. And those monomers are alkenes. So this is an alkene, which is actually ethene. And in order to make a polymer from ethene, we're just adding thousands and thousands and thousands of ethene molecules. So this is the first one, the second, the third, the fourth, till we reach like 10,000 of those. Well, you think, yeah, it's pretty much... A huge thing so these little units right there are called a monomer and you're stacking thousands and thousands of monomers in order to get the polymer right there and this continues on and on so this thing right there doesn't stop at one two three four five six seven so these are seven carbons but it doesn't stop right there it continues indefinitely or not indefinitely I mean it it becomes very very huge so this is the process so let's generalize this into a sentence so in order to make a polymer we stack or we put together thousands of monomers which in this case is, are alkenes so we established that the monomer has to have a carbon carbon double bond it's it, it's an alkene so let's move on to our next point now here is a simplified version of the reaction here we're having N number of monomers and the N can be up to ten th tens of thousands so it can be a very huge number now this is our monomer and it's an alkene and it has two carbons so it's ethene now we're stacking thousands of these ethene molecules using heat pressure and a catalyst and we come up with our polymer that has N monomers. Now, how would this come up in your exam? Well, let's see. Here's a question. Well, the question says, identify the monomer from this polymer. So you have a polymer and it has this weird CH3 and C's and H's and you're freaking out and it's a big compound and you think this is outer space science well it can be as easy as this well he wants you to find the monomer he wants you to find the smallest piece that we stack together in order to get this huge thing so watch out for the repetition so we go from right to left or left to right but i prefer going from the left so starting from the left we have c bonded to a CH3 and an H and then we go on to the next C we have an H and an H now the third C now here's the repetition so you have here CH3 CH3 and you notice there is a repetition right there so this is where your monomer ends so this is the starting of the monomer this is the end of the monomer and that's your answer for the question now the question is this is a polymer and a polymer never has a double bond so the monomer 
is the one that should have the double bond. So what do we do? Our monomer should have a double bond. So we get C double bond C and this is bonded to an H and CH3 and another H and another H and that's your monomer. So let's go over this one more time. So you're given a huge, huge polymer and you want to identify your monomer, which is the smallest piece that you stack together in order to get the big polymer. So you watch out first for the repetition. You go from right to left or left to right. And then you see here there is a repetition of CH3s and H's. So you start from here. This is where the monomer starts and where it ends. And you ask yourself this question. A polymer never has a double bond, but the monomer, its monomer has a double bond. Therefore, my answer should include a double bond. So here is our double bond C, double bonded to C, and then we put our elements which are CH3 and 3 hydrogens right there. So that's it for polymerization and polymers. This is this is what you guys are responsible for. There is another type of polymerization which is condensation polymerization and uh, we're going to talk about this later in the chapter so stay tuned and good luck.